It is a beautiful fall morning. Uh, and, uh, and right here is where we're gonna put the tent. Hey everybody, last night we opened the first play of our pandemic season. The play is called Black Eyed Susan. And I just wanna take a couple minutes to show you some of the behind the scenes stuff from where we started to where we are now. Take a look. Okay, so we're getting ready for Black Eyed Susan, and what we're doing is we're making sort of a small little makeshift set that fits in here that we're going to move out to the tent when we get the tent. So the tent is coming. The tent is coming on Monday. The tent is coming in just days, actually. Uh, and so what we have here is a couple flats. These are gonna be like sky. We're gonna paint some cartoony clouds on them. Here's another one over here. So those go on each side over here. Uh, there's gonna be one of those flats over here and then another one over here. So what I just got done painting was the stage. We've made a little stage for the tent. Uh, we're performing this sideways in the tent. Uh, we think we can probably get about 85 people social distance in there. Well, actually, we could probably fit a few more. Today, I just got done lining and uh, uh, yesterday I painted boards on here. We want this thing to look like it's a, a dock or something. Hey! What? How did you paint the boards? Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> this set is really dinky compared to what we usually do. Uh, this set it has just a few pulled platforms that uh, we happen to have on hand, and so that was primed white. And here you see me just base coating. Now I'm base coating a tone of tan because that's going to be the tone of the boards that I want to replicate. Then once we have the floor dried, I put a lot of fans on there, make sure that the floor is nice and dry. Then I, lay, I load my load-in brush. What I've got there is a, basically it's a piece of bamboo that I put a big lay-in brush. And then I take three or four different colors that are the tan colors that I want for my boards, and I start dry brushing them in. And this is basically a technique where I use a little bit of water and then the colors, and I use a straight edge to create boards uh, in the pattern that I want. I just want a linear board thing. I want it to look like a Bristol dock. Uh, and so that's how we do it. The final product looks like this, but we're not done yet. Really what makes the boards pop is putting lines in them. So I've got a smaller piece of bamboo, and in that I insert what's called a one and a half inch angle sash brush. Uh, and then I just dip that in some dark brown, and I start making lines with the straight edge that I've got. And I just keep doing this between every board that I painted. It really does make a difference. You can really tell from the crowd. Uh, I have done it without lining uh, in the past. Uh, it really depends on what you want. But look at this. You can really tell the difference between the boards that are not lined and the boards that are lined. And then here I am just painting the ends of the boards with a shorter straight edge. It sort of had to match the, the, uh, the wood of the barrel there. <laughs> There's three sections. Okay, so this right here is a row. You can sort of see where the, the plywood ends here. This is a platform. That's gonna be one strip, one row. So we're gonna take that whole thing out the door as it is. And then this is gonna be another row, and then another one right in front that sort of has these 45 degree angles on them. So next week on Monday, the, uh, the tent comes and then we get a few days to rehearse underneath the tent. This is a show that's only open to the students live, but that's why we're gonna make YouTubes of this. Hopefully we can turn around a YouTube of that in about a week and then the world can see it. So, but it's just sort of a fun, uh, uh, melodrama that nobody's really heard of <laughs> and so we're gonna give it a go we're gonna have a lot of fun with it and do something for the students here because I think they're dying just to see something and we're dying to do something too but I just got done drawing clouds and they're gonna look something like this It's Black Eyed Susan, her name is Susan, she's always losing. It's Black Eyed Susan, she's always cruising. Her eyes are black, her name is Susan, it's Black Eyed Susan. <laughs> There's gonna be a jail. 
Okay, so the tent for Black Eyed Susan is coming. Here are the guys behind me. They're gonna put the tent up and we're gonna get rocking. By the way, it is a beautiful fall morning. Uh, and, uh, and right here is where we're gonna put the tent. Okay, and here's the stage for Black Eyed Susan and we got the, uh, the uh, front of the thing all painted along the front so it's nice and black. So we're gonna cover that later on with some jute fabric. Uh, but we wanted to paint it black so that it all looks like it just disappears. That's what we're loading out today. So... Black Eyed Susan, Black Eyed Susan, she's a cruising, her mind is losing her. She's got some confusion. Oh, and there's a barrel. <laughs> a big barrel. I think somebody can fit in there. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling son. <laughs> well, the, the sky goes wide. Hi, for the red. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm nobody. Have burner. Have water. Man. Oh, come along, Jacob. Oh, now I see what you're talking about. He'll find you here. He must not. Yeah, he has to cover it up. He's in the other legs. Oh, no, no. I don't think it's happened for the world that there is no way to meet him. This is not good news. That's sturdy. That's firm. It's like a Sesame Street. Who knocks on the barrel? Okay, so here we are under the tent and you can see behind me the stage uh, for Black Eyed Susan this evening. It's actually turned out pretty nice today. Uh, we were worried about the weather. It is chilly. It's gonna be uh, about 40 degrees tonight. So everybody's gonna be coming with blankets and with cups of tea and maybe some hot cocoa and stuff like that. I heard a rumor that said tomorrow there might be snow. But nonetheless, the actors are looking great. The show seems like it's uh, all ready to go technically. And so we're really looking forward to a good time tonight. So here's our rigs. Uh, we've got uh, lights under here that are uh, uh, LED lights that are gonna be shining on the stage and also kind of catching some of the cool shapes of the tent too. So we got two of those over here. Really love this knot up here. Uh, John Merseth, thanks for tying that for us. And then um, we got this jute. Uh, material that we like to use a lot for texture and then just a muslin curtain behind that and behind here is our prop table 
uh, and sort of a, uh, just in case it is raining, we got a little screen house so actors can have a place to sort of stay dry. So that's what's under here. Hopefully the weather's gonna cooperate. You never know what you're gonna get. So uh, this is the look of Black Eyed Susan. This is the social distance stick. <laughs> uh, this is a six foot long board and this is what we're using to uh, make sure that all of the seats in the tent are all six feet apart. It is actually a beautiful fall night. Uh, so Black Eyed Susan's gonna open up tonight and man, it's just awesome out. So hopefully we'll have a good crowd uh, and everybody will really dig the show. It's gonna be fun. made the seizure by this time. Now I'll step in, pay the money, and with this buy the gratitude of Susan. Before I tell her the story of her husband's death. <laughs> Bring up then, my young skip. Whither bound? I'm in a hurry! Bring up, I say, or I shall spoil your figurehead. I... Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> You wouldn't marry a sailor. And why not? Your natural timidity wouldn't allow it. My timidity. Master Dograss. That is, if your conscience... A conscience? A fool! <laughs> My conscience sleeps well enough like a sturdy bull. <laughs> and you a gadfly fuzzing around me. So we had a great opening night, we had great weather, and we had a great crowd. Hey, if you are a supporter of Bethany Lutheran College Theater, thank you very much for all of your support. And if you're a supporter of this channel, thank you. And if you're not a supporter, what are you waiting for? This is a channel uh, that is all dedicated to creativity, the creative process, and all creative endeavors. So if you like this content, please consider subscribing and we'll keep more coming. Until the next video, you guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.